So let me ask you this. You've been in it long enough. And one of the topics we're going to talk about today is kind of that athletic population that I think a lot of times gets overlooked. These are individuals that have been athletic their whole life. They're at the point where they're needing a knee replacement or a bilateral knee replacement. And now they're looking at their future and thinking, is this something that's going to afford me the ability to keep living the active lifestyle that I want? Before we talk about that, what are some of the trends that you're seeing? I know in some of my groups and, and across professional networks, I'm seeing individuals who are younger than I would typically see having knee replacements, but profession-wide from a surgeon's perspective, what are some of the trends you see coming down the road? Yeah, that's, a, that's exactly the trend we're seeing. So, you know, when, when joint replacement was first conceived, it was, it was for your grandma. Yeah. It was for people who needed to, you know, get to the refrigerator, get to church, get to the grocery store. That was really all the demand that was required. And, you know, patients in their 70s did well. Uh, patients in their 60s with some of the earlier implants did well for short periods of time, but then the, the implants weren't as good, so they would start failing. Uh, you know, after about 10 years. So you know, when I was going through training, uh, that was what we were quoting to patients, you know, 10, 15 years, and then you're probably going to wear this out. Now, as luck would have it, or, or as science would have it, we've improved in our materials. Uh, so the trends over the last 15 years have been that <clears throat> we have a little bit more durable materials. Can't say that they won't ever wear out, but at least one of the knee replacements I use has a has an FDA tag that says it could last 30 years uh, wow. before at least naturally wears out by you know wear and tear. So that's that's a, a nice thing to say that in a lab now, you know, it's only been on the market since 2012. So nobody's lived with it for 30 years to really prove that. Right. Um, but you know, at the same time, this, the materials have gotten better. They're more durable. We're, we're less worried about them wearing out, which has led us to be able to offer joint replacement to younger populations. So uh, in patients who are in their, you know, 40s and 50s now, uh, we're seeing more. And I mean, I, I probably, probably my youngest joint replacement patient over the years, I think I have about two or three uh, that were in their late 30s. Um, just because of catastrophic issues with, with their knee and they just, you know, had no other choice. Sure. One of the studies that <clears throat> kind of led us to, to, to start doing more of this was a study that showed uh, patients uh, being able to work more and, you know, live a productive life by having a joint replacement versus, you know, going, basically going on to disability because they can't stand or work or, you know, do the things that they would need to do to hold down the job. 